Hi Steve, my name is Chris. I'm a systems administrator and a big fan of your show. I've been giving some thought to your desire to have a virtualized browser set up, and I think I've come up with a way that you have not considered yet. Every time you've discussed this, you've taken the approach of running the hypervisor on the same machine that you are using as your desktop. But what about using a separate machine as a hypervisor and using the web browser remotely. Let me show you a, a method of doing that that I think you will find very interesting. What you're seeing here is a uh, free and open source hypervisor called Proxmox. It has an entirely web-based management system. And what I've set up here for the sake of example is um, an Xubuntu 1604 VM. Now, yes, you could just use the console directly, but that's not very elegant. But here I'm just showing you that the machine is up and is running. Now, let's log out of here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go to a Windows machine because I know that you're going to be using Windows. And I'm going to show you a different way of accessing the uh, web browser. So, starting up Windows now. On that Xubuntu virtualized desktop, I have a program running called X2Go. And what X2Go does is it allows you to remotely access the entire desktop or individual programs via SSH, but in a fashion that is very high performance to the point to where under a properly optimized setup, you would think you were sitting directly at the console. So using, using Windows here, I'm going to launch the X2Go client because X2Go makes a client for Windows. I've pre-set up a session for using the web browser from the Xubuntu machine. So here we see it's connecting to 192.168.0.89. Whoops. Now I'm going to switch back over to the console here just so you can see that it's the same IP address. And here we see 192.168.0.89. Log out of here for the last time. Now, what we're telling X2Go to do here is connect to this IP address, the login name, the port, and here we have many desktops to choose from, which, which you can use it as a full desktop environment, or you can tell it to run a single application. In this case, I'm going to tell it to run Firefox. You also have the ability to specify connection speeds and methods and optimize it to your heart's content. Um, in this case, I'm telling it LAN and um, 16 million colors, JPEG compression. And I even have the ability to enable remote sound support and I haven't bothered setting this up yet, but shared folders, which could come in handy for downloading from your web browser. So now we'll go and connect. And what we have here is Firefox running in a native Windows window alongside all the other Windows applications. But this instance of Firefox is running on the Xubuntu 16.04 machine. If I were to go to a site to show the performance of this web browser, I think you'll see that it's quite speedy. Uh, any lag you might be seeing is likely due to me running a VM and recording this video at the same time and 
this is honestly kind of a slower machine. Um, natively, this is very smooth. But to also show you that um, this is indeed running on Linux and not Windows. User Agent, Mozilla, Linux, Ubuntu. Next, I'll demonstrate that X2Go is able to forward audio. This is an Opus audio file. More specifically, this is an AUG file containing audio encoded with the new Opus audio codec. The standard for the Opus audio codec was recent. And there you have it. A web browser running on Linux, but accessed from Windows in a way that's high performance and, if properly set up, I feel could be um, a good daily use of a fully virtualized web browser in a virtual machine. The only difference being you could set up a dedicated machine, um, a dedicated Linux box, because this is just a hypervisor appliance, essentially. And using it in that way, you could just have that machine off in the corner somewhere, set up your machine, and it would just run and run, and you wouldn't have to bother having enough power in your Windows machine to handle all of that too. In fact, this would run from your Windows XP machine, uh, as the X2Go client also runs on Windows XP. And the amount of RAM wouldn't matter because all that matters is the amount of RAM running on the hypervisor that you set Proxmox up on. So I hope you found this informative and hopefully one day useful. Um, as always, thank you for the show, huge fan, yada yada. I'm looking forward to more episodes.